Hey guys, I'm back. Today, what I'm doing is a really awesome, um, look at my earrings, wicked fun, um, like a New Year's Eve look. So if you're going out on the town, even if you're not going out, I challenge you, dress up like this, it'll make you feel good. So I have on my black dress. I'll try to input a photo of the last time I wore this dress. I think it was for my sister-in-law's um, bachelorette party. It was wicked cute. It's it's really it's it's really cute. And I have this really cool earring. So I think the motif that I'm gonna be doing is kind of like black and silver, but a smoky eye. So it's like nighttime glam, I guess. So if you're out on New Year's Eve, that would make sense. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into it. The two palettes that I believe I'm gonna be using primarily are the Sultry, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I do like this one. It's more like browns and glitters and stuff. And then there's that random pink shade. I don't know why. I mean, it's a pretty shade. So I'm going to be doing like a classic smoky eye first-ish, my version of it. And then I'm going to try to incorporate some colors. This brand new, I just got it as the thing falls out. <laughs> um, let me go down there by Cleoff Cosmetics. Raw Beauty Christy did a look with these and she wasn't expecting, I think she used primarily this one. She winged it out. She was amazed by how it just like glides on. So hopefully these are eye safe. <laughs> and I'm gonna be incorporating like the silvers, maybe some bronzy in black. I don't wanna go to gold, cause I don't like gold. So I'm just gonna do my foundation. I'm gonna be using just to make it a little bit darker so it's gonna kind of not look right but I like darker skin for looks like that I'm gonna try to fade it in I'm gonna be using the infallible pro glow l'oreal yes I'm gonna be applying that with a makeup sponge and I'll be right back Now, um, for a nighttime smoky eye kind of look, I do like to conceal the darkness that I have under here. So for that, I'm using Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. Sometimes, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense for this to be illuminating. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm kind of on the fence, even though I love glowy everything. I don't know. I don't know what I know. I don't know what I know. I don't know. So you just squeeze a little bit. It's good stuff though, I like it. Um, and I'm just gonna be concealing the under eye. I'll be right back. Now, under eyes are looking terrifying. Um, now I'm just gonna do my brows a little bit more of the Instagram brow that I hate. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video. I just watched a Brad Mondo video where he's talking about just a lot of things in the beauty community. He's a hairstylist. But he says he lives in New York City. And it's really interesting. If you don't follow him, please follow him. I act as if I have any like credentials yet to even say that. But he's really awesome. And um, he was saying just how people just like cake on the foundation and do like the layers, kind of like what I just did, like with the concealing. Normally, I don't like to do. It. It's just there's so many steps that I don't think are necessary because while they look good in this lighting, there are lights all over. Like this is like a legit setup. In the real world, it doesn't translate the same way. And, like, people are walking around. Like, I just, I don't want, and women especially, to get the wrong impression that, like, this may look good, but you also have to know that this isn't, it's not, like, real life, per se. It's great for photos, and it shows what you can do and what you're um, capable of. But once you go out there, you need to have a much lighter hand. Don't cake on the makeup. It's just in the Instagram brows. You know, when I first started my channel, I just would not even touch my eyebrows. I understand why you have to on camera because this, like what I'm seeing in real life is not 
what you're seeing. It's the weirdest thing, and anyone who's done it, I, you guys know what I mean, but it doesn't translate the same way, so to make a look look right, you do have to do that extra step sometimes, even though I hate doing it, I don't always do it. But I mean, if you're going out New Year's Eve, do it. Like, go, go all the way. Just do it. Um, and that's fine. But normally, my video, I, I mean, you see me. I'm just like brow gel done. I don't, I don't care. Just It just doesn't matter. Um, Anastasia brow is. I'm just going to be doing that. I might fast forward it or just delete it. But do your eyebrows however you like. Whatever works for you. Just do some tinted brow gel. Um, the Anastasia kind is really good. I'll be doing that at the end. But I'm just going to make this look more snatched. Is the term. I'll be right back. They're getting there. The Anastasia brow is. Just because a lot of my hairs tend to stick like... They, they like to go down. I don't know why. Now, I'm going to be applying eye shield so I have like a straight line ish. Because when you're dealing with like blacks and browns and stuff, it could be messy. Ish. Now I'm going to go in with the Sultry palette. I'm going to pick up this uh, twig color, just as like a transition shade. Basically in my crease, but a little bit above. Go in with a small brush. Sigma. just taking a bigger brush and just blending what I just did just to make it softer and you can do that as much or as little as you want if you like it harsher then don't blend it out but if you like it soft just in like circle motions I'm doing you can do the windshield wiper thing I do the windshield wiper motion to put the color on and then I to blend it I do circles like little tiny circles and have a light hand, just very, very softly, like Bob Ross, Bob Ross would say. Just a few, just some air and a few little bristles, like you're barely touching it. Bob Ross is awesome. So you got something like that. And then, I'm going to take a little pencil brush. I'm going in with this darker dystopian darker brown. So this is what we started with right there. And this is what we're going to. We're eventually going to go all the way over here. Are you nervous? Are ya? Just take a little tiny bit and I'm just going to be working it in like right in the crease. Just very, very little amount. the Noir. Very good color. Anastasia. They make great dark black colors. Because not all black makeup is created the same. That I can tell you from years of experience. Just going very, very lightly. A little bit. Tap it off. 
and I'm just going to be making like this inner corner or outer corner Go back to that lighter brown color that we first used, um, twig, and apply it right next to the black right here. Just very, very lightly to create that little gradient right there. To fresh, almost like this linen color, and put it right next to all that. I'm gonna take a like a flat, you know, flat brush like that. I'm gonna take. I'm going to take this pearl color right there and put it on the lid. Right. We're going to try out this gold stuff. I want to try to create a sparkly wing. And that, I think I'm just going to use like a winged, um, you know, like an eyebrow, that kind of thing. Anything with a point, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try, take these off, oh, I changed my mind, I want that brown color, I don't want to ruin this whole thing. I have bad feelings. Maybe if I go in with a different brush. Wait. It's just I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, so I'm sweating. Who can name what that's from? Uh, well, I'll show you how to fix it. Ooh. I created a line. It requires a very specific kind of brush. Like, in a weird way, it's working better than what these types of glitters seem like tend to work like because you kind of have to like dig them out of the pan you know they're not just you know powder glitters it's like wet um but in a weird way it kind of works i can see this for certain applications because when i saw rob beauty christy do this one i was like whoa Whoa. Okay. <sighs> okay. There's definitely a learning curve with these. 
they're um they're pretty and like when they're applied in like large amount it's um it's good you can kind of see it kind of not so here's what I'm gonna do. I do like this though. I can see this working if I was gonna cover the whole lid with a glitter, that would work. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the silver color, Cyborg, and I'm gonna kinda put it where I put that other glitter before. Glitter. When Raw Beauty Christy um, was using this glitter, she started having like eye problems. Maybe, oh, maybe there's something to that. See, certain makeups just do it. Well, that ought to satisfy some viewers. Ah, <laughs> oh, and just as I said that, I just felt a chunk of glitter go into my eye. Oh dear. No. Maybe this is a bad idea. Alright, so if you have any makeup allergies, maybe don't do that. Hey. Okay. Alright, maybe I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna take the black and run it very, very close to my um, lash line. Now, you take a smaller brush, more like that, and you're going to take, la, 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 la. I'm going to take the lighter of the brown colors that I went in with and go right underneath the black to smoke it out. I'm gonna take NYX Jumbo Pencil, Jumbo Eye Pencil, and Black Bean, and do my waterline. It's intense. Smoky Eye with some glitter has been accomplished. I'm gonna put in more silver. Um, so I'm gonna take that silver shade now. What are you guys doing for New Year's? Do you guys have any um, resolutions? I never do them anymore. Um, I don't think, I don't know. I always get disappointed because I usually can't finish any of my resolutions because of one thing or another. I know that sounds like an excuse, but you know, with the medical stuff and the MS and just, it's just like too much in my life. Whew. So I just live life day to day. Do your best. But if you guys have any resolutions, drop them in the comment section, por favor. I love when you guys leave comments. And I have a few new um, subscribers this past few weeks, so thank you. Welcome. I hope you enjoy this. I love, there's one girl, I just subscribed to her channel. She's really talented, just starting out. I love, I love seeing the people just starting out, and they're just, they're so creative. Like, I love seeing the creativity. I massively appreciate that. Why isn't this working? Um, I'd like to show some of my cake decorating stuff on this channel. I think you guys would like it. 
Oh, do you guys want to see something cute? My mom got this for me. It was the sweetest thing. This little box. And it's a little poem and it plays music. I love it. And it says, To my daughter, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, loved more than you know. Love, Mom. This is a song my mom said she used to sing to me when I was a little baby. I love stuff like this, so I keep it right here on my makeup desk. And I love it. Best mom ever. Now that I'm all teary. Um, so yeah. We need to bronze this face up. Um, for that, I'm actually gonna try, I got this in a, like a sample bag thing. It's the Bobbi Brown little sample. Why not, ooh, it seems actually a little cool tone. I think I would like that. It seemed a little cooler than what I was expecting. Um, so let's take my Morphe brush. Let's try this bronzer now. I'm trying a whole bunch of the different things. Another thing um, that Brad Mondo guy was talking about was um, like the chiseled contours that everyone's doing. I totally, I, not that he's watching my videos, but I hear you. It's annoying. Like, and I know it's not my place to say it because I'm on YouTube doing makeup, but I will be doing more stuff, don't worry. It'll be MS related more so. I'm going to start a little community there and hopefully cake decorating. But um, I get it. Like the people, like the Instagram trends and everyone's like so perfect and they're doing like the perfect eyebrow. Like I only spent legit, like I know I cut it away, but I only spent seven minutes doing that. Not even. I'm just, I'm not... I'm not interested. It's just, and it's fine for some people, I get that. But that's not the kind of life I live. I, I don't, I just don't like it, I'm sorry. Ooh, I really like this. And I've always heard good things of this one too. Oh my god. No, there's so many that I like. I'm trying to incorporate more color into my birth. Cause I am a little pale, you could say. You could say. And just kind of, I don't know. The amount of brown, it's, it's all up to you. It's all personal. I think it all depends on the vibe you're going for. If you don't care to, don't do it. That's a look in itself. With the little cat ears and everything. Yeah, I would go out like this. I have. Um, now, to be extra, um, I'm going to do a little bit. So that was bronzer. I'm going to contour a little bit more. Be a little bit more chiseled. Maybe I'll use the Hula bronzer for that. It's a little bit darker in my opinion. Nah, wait. That's a little, that's a little orangey. I don't want to go orange. Um, I'll use my Laura Geller. And just chisel. I'm going to do my nose a little bit too. That's another thing. Brad Mondo guy was saying, it's like, and the nose contour. What the hell? I know. 
Some people spend so long on it. Oh my god, just do that. You're just creating a shadow real fast. It's, this just made my nose look a little smaller, that's all. Alright, now, the moment we've all been waiting for, a highlight. So, I'm going to spray my face, and we're going to apply highlight. And this is like water in a can. But I mean, hey, smells good. And of course, because... It's amazing. Oh, how do you open it? Okay. Um, I believe I'm gonna go in. Let's see. What's the whole vibe of this pink, yellow? I'm gonna go in with a mix between sparks and gleam. It's a little bit of the yellow vibe, a little bit of the white. That's another thing he was talking about. He's like, highlight? I don't like it. I'm like, oh, that's one thing that I disagree. I mean, I do think people... I think it's overused on YouTube. And I mean, who am I to talk? Because I love highlight. But... It just seems to be going too far. Like, there seems to be, like, this standard of, like, how you do your makeup now and how everybody does their makeup, and there's these certain steps, and I just, I don't subscribe to it, that's all. But if you do, that's fine. I just, I get kind of annoyed by a lot of the influencers that I see on YouTube, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of them are not coming off very authentic to me, that's all. Um, inner corner, because the other one didn't really show up, and go up under there. Yeah, this highlighter palette though, I'd say is worth it. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to do lashes, I'm going to try the put on, just because it's easier instead of doing all the glue, I'm going to do the um, magnetic ones again. So I'll be right back. Okay. Like, I've worn these like three times now. They're not the most comfortable, honestly, but they're not the worst. They're not the worst things that I've like, and two, they're not perfect. So if you kind of really analyze them up close, they're not perfect. But you know, life's not perfect, so whatever. Um, now, just do some under. Um, I'm going to put a little tiny color in my face. The more, the pet name it's called. The less pinky. And conflicted island hopper. I have another Laura Geller shade. Peace. Hello. And I got. So let's 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 just try. What's this? Feel? Oh, that could be vampy. It's so funny. Like I prefer nude lips. And somebody was just talking about this. I think it was probably raw beauty Christy and she's like I just like people's looks when they're just nude lips or just gloss and like all of a sudden the trend started going towards like oh wicked like so intense and chiseled lips I don't like that I don't need to define my lips it's just it's just not a thing I like I'm sorry I'm sorry but um let's try it let's try this color so I can totally change like in an instant. You could do nude and I think to me that's pretty. Like even if I kept my lips like that. And then you add a color and it changes the whole vibe. So let's see. Let's try this. Oh. Wow. 
well. See? That just changed the whole look. Um, it's a really pretty color. And I think if you're going out during the night, or like New Year's Eve, that's a look. But um, if you don't like go on that vampy with lips, which normally I don't either, all you do is you take a nude lip like this Anastasia Beverly Hills in Naked. And you can try to like tone that down a little if you wanted to. And just add, you know, just add a little bit to the center. Mash your lips and you have a lighter version. But um, for New Year's, you know, that makes sense. So wait. Let's do this. Take off cat ears. Take the hair. And that. That is my New Year's look. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like it. Um, just the glitters. Just to me, like New Year's is just mainly about glitter. A little bit darker, obviously. But if you don't like that, just don't even do that. It doesn't matter. Do you. Live your life. Be happy. Don't worry about whatever, what, what other people say. You know, you only got one life to live. Think about that. You have maybe, if you're lucky, 80 or so years on this earth. Do you want to spend them worrying about what everybody else thinks? It's not going to affect your life. Or, you want to live life to its fullest. Be kind to people. Change someone's life for the better. Be a good influence. You know, it's your decision. One life. What will you do with it? So I hope you guys have a great uh, New Year's. Do this. If it inspires you, get cool earrings. I'm not going out. I'm staying home with my cat. Who's on my bed way over there? I have a platform bed. Oh, it's so fancy. Um, maybe we'll find a picture. I'll input my bed right here too, Jamie, when you're editing. But if you guys are going out, do awesome makeup. Feel good about yourself. Life is too short to feel crappy about yourself. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And remember to like, leave a like, comment, subscribe, leave an unlike. If you don't like me, or this didn't speak to you and you're just mad. You're just mad about something. Got a sparkly background. This is fancy. Um, but be safe out there. Don't drink and drive, please. Mm, if I have a pet peeve, that's it. Don't do it. I'm not preaching. Um, so yeah. Ooh, and follow me on Instagram. I don't have Snapchat anymore. I just, I hate Snapchat. There's, there's lots of reasons. I'm not gonna go into them. Everybody, everybody in my life knows what, what they are. You can thank my ex-boyfriend for that. Don't trust anybody on it. Don't trust them. Don't trust an app that was created so your messages disappear and you can't prove something. <laughs> so happy new year. Hope you guys' Christmas was good too. And I will see you soon. I'm going to be doing, I think, what I'm wa I want to use this palette again. And I want to use it in a different fashion. I'll use like the pinks. And the purples. Oh, maybe like a teal. You guys want that? Because I mean, I, I think I can do something better. So we'll do that. So remember to be kind. Put some color in your world. And stay humble. Bye, guys.